when I was growing up. She used to come from corner, fly to Oahu, and bring all these fruits, and she used to bring ulu poi. And she used to take a poi pounder like this. And she used to pound the poi. And when she used to pound it, she used to bring it to Oahu, and my brothers and my sisters, they love you, Mr. Poi. That was delicious. Okay, now I'm gonna do a small demo here. Hey. What I did this morning, I cooked the ulu off. I cooked it, in, I cut it in half. I boiled it in water. It was soft enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to skin it. I'll take the skin off this ulu. How long did you, How cook, long it? Did you cook it? I cooked it till it was tender, like, it's about an hour or so. About an hour? Yeah. Just cover it with water? Just water. Nothing in there. No no salt, pepper, nothing. Just water only. It was about that size. Yes, it was about this size of the ulu. Ulu was this size. Took it in half. I took the seed out. I hollow up the seed. I put it in the submerge it in the water and it boiled for an hour. I went back, check on it. This is what I got. Right here. Okay. Right? Okay, then you still skin it, cut the meat out. This is the old way of doing it now. This all used to be done back in the days when my grandmother and my my parents and her brothers all used to raise on it. So I'm gonna show how it was done before. They're gonna show it again next Saturday at the festival. But that did the modern way. Oh. <laughs> I did it in the kitchen eat. <laughs> but today I'm going to do a demo with the, the proper way of doing it. <laughs> so I'm going to smash it in real, in a real little like Play-Doh. Play-Doh look and I'll show it to you later. I'm going to get it all done there. And a little bit more in there. Yeah, and you're smashing it. Back in those days, to add water to it, as a little bit of Mash it like mashed potatoes. Everybody know how to make mashed potatoes, the same way the little boy. This is what it looks like. Wallpaper paste. Yeah. Everybody use that on the walls, right? Yeah. <laughs> you want to add a little water to it? Soften it up. Oh, oh, sorry about that, ladies. <laughs> Is the front row participating? Yes, we are. Thank you. That's a 3D effect. <laughs> <laughs> this thing takes a while to mix. Just want to show what it looks like when you do it back in the old days. Dave and my grandmother didn't to do it. It gets real thick too. You gotta keep adding water to so soften things up like custard pudding. I have a bigger board at home, but it's too big over here to do a small little demonstration. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, and this is what it looks like. You can add more water to it. Yeah. So thin it out. So you're consistent of taste, yeah? Mm -hmm. This is called a three finger point. So three fingers, four fingers holding yeah. up. Uh -huh. 
Okay, that's what I'll be serving today, the um, koi ulu. I have some already portion cups already. The next demo I'm going to do is the baked ulu with butter and garlic. Ah, oh, that's going to be good. It's good. Well, the reason why I like it's firm, when it's nice and soft, there's a stem in there. You pull the stem out, you put the knife cut around it over here, you pull it, the seed will come out with it. You take a stick of butter, a, a quarter oh, stick butter, yes. you stuff it in there with your garlic, wrap uh -huh. it in foil. With garlic. Oh. You turn this in your oven just like this, you have a hand grenade in your oven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I picked the one person in Oahu, when I was working in Oahu, the wife threw it in, um, in the oven. It exploded. Yeah. He threw the oven away because it was all ulu splat all in the oven. He didn't want to clean it. So. <laughs> wife didn't know how to bake it, so she saw all oh, something to make. It's probably like a baked potato. She's from Japan. <laughs> so it, it blew up in the oven. She was upset about it. Okay, did, well, I'm gonna did you take two hours in the oven? How long? No, one, one hour. hour. One hour in the oven. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do I'm going to cut this in half. Uh -huh. Okay, the seed in the middle, see this um, long shape over here, the seed that you want to take out. When it's real softer than this, where you can really squeeze on, not too hard, you want to pull it out, and I'm going to cut it out. Okay, once you get this cut, you want to get a smaller hole there. Fill up pores in there. Mm -hmm. pores in here, you put the garlic in there. You put your garlic in it, you seep into the, um, to the pores. Oh, then you put butter in here. Oh, okay. wow. They got together. Garlic. Look at that. Water, okay, I'm gonna take the, oh my so a quarter teaspoon, sorry. If you want more garlic, you put more garlic if you want. Yes. You rub it all in there into the pores. Uh -huh. All the pores over here. You rub it all in there. You want to seep it in there, you want the flavor from the garlic, yeah? Yes. Take some butter here. It's already melting already. Yes. <laughs> put it inside. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. Put more butter, a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> butter makes it better, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You stuff in there and butter. <laughs> and then you drop it in there. Yeah, you I actually saw that when they put the butter in. And I was like, oh, okay, now it's going to taste good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you want to bring your foil up, uh -huh. hold it up. You want to make sure the top is facing upwards. Yes. Okay. And you seal it. Oui. Up, up, up. Pull it in half. Yeah. And you bring this tail up. Uh -huh. You want to face this tail up. The reason why, when you open it, the butter won't fall out oh, from the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then throw it in the oven at 350? One hour. These are hot yet. Here's yeah. the finished process. Uh -huh. So that butter is dripping out of there? Yep. You cut it in quarters. Wow. That's what it looks like. Oh, oh delicious. Everybody thinks it looks like an artichoke, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what it looks like, but it's not an artichoke. It's a breadfruit. <laughs> <laughs> what I like to do is put a little butter in here, melted butter. <laughs> More butter. <laughs> oh, check this out. Oh. You want salt and pepper? You have salt and pepper to it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Go to town. Oh. <laughs> oh, yum, yum. <laughs> Any questions, anybody? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, you too. Everybody does that. This is the best of the best of the best. All oh, right, careful, it's hot. That's fine, that's the way I want. <laughs> this is Chef Eric from the Sheraton Cuyahoe, and he is cutting up some of this delicious ulu that's been baked with butter and garlic.